this um, Brett Kavanaugh story and all the accusations that are coming forward. Terry, good morning. Thanks for joining us. ABC News senior senior correspondent. Where are we now with this second accuser from from Yale? Well, we're in crisis on this nomination. It's on the precipice, no question about it. There was a sense uh, last week that Kavanaugh could survive uh, with the support, solid support of Republicans. The accusation that Christine Blasey Ford had made against him about high school. Now there's a woman coming forward with an allegation about sexual misconduct in college. There may be another one. Uh, and he is absolutely adamant. He's determined to get in front of the American public uh, under oath and try and testify and clear his name. But Senate Republicans are looking at the midterm election, and they're getting nervous. So right now, uh, while all these are allegations from a long time ago, he's disputing them, uh, this is a political crisis for him. Right now, the White House is standing completely behind yeah, this is this is this isn't a court of law. This is a public opinions uh, 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 battle royale. I heard somebody or read somebody say, "Hey, you know what? Republicans have already lost college educated women. You can't lose them twice. Let's stand behind Brett Kavanaugh." Well, you know, Ronald Reagan did that with with Judge Robert Bork. Even after a majority of the senators had come out against Bork, he decided there was a value in fighting the fight to the end. Uh, we'll see about that. And there's no indication of slippage of Republican support for Kavanaugh right now. I should say that. I, but I do think that Republicans not only don't want to lose college-educated women twice, I think they want an opportunity to win some of them over. Uh, and if, and this, this kind of thing could get in the way. Fair play, though, should, should hold, and people should listen to what Kavanaugh has to say. But as I say, the clock is ticking toward those midterm elections. Is there going to be hearings on Thursday as of now? anybody's guess right now. It looks like there will have to be some kind of investigation of Deborah Ramirez's allegations. She's the woman from Yale Law School, uh, Yale College, I should say, who alleges that Kavanaugh exposed herself uh, himself to her, uh, and she was inebriated, and there were other witnesses. So, look, if they're going to actually investigate these things, even without the FBI, even if it's just going to be the committee doing it, they can't have that hearing by Thursday. Yeah, uh, which means it pushes back, and each day it gets closer to the election, which means each day this is a bigger and bigger story, and this is how the, how, how does that affect the midterms. That's right. And, look, uh, you know, right now, Kavanaugh's polls before the uh, before these allegations were allowed for it were not great. You know, the president is not in a really strong position in the polls right now. That's, that's what uh, was Robert Ronald Reagan position when Bork was rejected. So he can't really pull him through on his own coattails. And people have not felt a great surge of support for him. There are more people in some polls opposing his confirmation than supporting him. And now this. And so it, it, it does look like it's a political crisis. But for the man, it's a character crisis. He wants to get out there. The women want to get out there. I don't think the Republicans or Democrats really want uh, this kind of show on Capitol Hill this week. We'll see what happens. Terry Moran, uh, what happens if this nomination goes down? Because what he did in high school and college, uh, what does that mean going forward? How do you even vet somebody and check all the college, all the parties they went to in high school and college? And what does that mean if you do something stupid or inappropriate in college? You can no longer do what going forward 20, 30, 40 years later? I, I think that is the... the real landmark moment in public service that this represents. Now, an allegation of sexual assault is, is serious at any age. Young men go to prison for that. Uh, nevertheless, it's very difficult to, to investigate at this distance, as you, as you point out. I mean, imagine how hard it's going to be for the hookup generation, uh, you know, which is the generation that follows Kavanaugh in some ways, who had a, an even more uh, freewheeling social life in high school and college. They may not remember even who their partners were. I uh, just say nothing of actually what went on there. So it's, it's a challenge, I, I think a very serious one, that the Kavanaugh, represent, the Kavanaugh nomination represents. Terry Moran, ABC News senior national correspondent. Thanks, Terry. Have a good day.